Here we go into an energy question, Chap uh, question 16. A mass attached to the lower end of a spring bounds up and down. At which point in the path of the mass to the GPE and EPE and KE are the maximum? Whoa, this is such a good question. It's kind of energy, but also in A2, you know, there's this chapter called Simple Harmonic Motion, aka Oscillation. It all comes together. Anyway, let's draw the stuff. Okay, if your spring is at equilibrium, kind of like here, it's going to have some maximum value. If the spring is very stretched or very squashed, it's going to have a different energy value. Okay, let's just say this is the highest, this is the lowest. Okay, where is GPE the highest? GPE is calculated by MGH. So whenever it's highest, it has maximum GPE. So that's got to be up here already. Long. So this one here will be GPE max. Highest at that position. So that'll be top. Bottoms out. K uh, elastic potential energy will depend on the extension of the spring. Hmm. So is the extension of the spring maximum down there or on top? Actually, down there is the maximum extension. So, here will be EPE max. Mm, so bottom. Also, by process of elimination, you can see A and B are already out. So it can't be middle, it can't be top. And the last one, KE. Now, this is kind of a step into simple harmonic motion in A2. But can I think the, the spring moves the fastest. I mean, the object moves the fastest when it's going through equilibrium position. So here, equilibrium. That is when it's moving the fastest. So here is KE maximum. Oh, this is such a good question. So that'll be in the middle, here or here. Answer is C. That's the only choice we can choose with all these conditions. Okay, so remember, there are some paper two questions that will ask you about these kind of things. Remember, you are changing between GPE, KE, and EPE. But total energy is conserved. So they take turns to change. Lah. Okay, KE plus EPE plus the last one, GPE. Okay, next question.